In this lesson, we'll create zone lists in order to get non-graphical information about the building spaces. Then you'll see how we can use trimming and solid element modeling operations to make correct and precise area and volume calculations. Open the pop-up navigator, go to the project map, right-click on the schedules item, and select the new schedule context menu command. In the dialog that appears, select the new scheme option, type zone list in the name field, and click OK. In the criteria panel of the scheme settings dialog, select zone as the value. In the fields panel, push the add fields button to access the list of available parameters and properties. The number of these parameters depends on the settings of the criteria panel. You can browse through the entire list or just use the search field on the top of this pop-up. Add the following parameters by double-clicking on it or pushing the Add button. Home Story from the General Group. Zone Name from the Zone Group. Calculated Area from the Zone Group. and net volume from the general group. Click outside the parameters list to close it. To change the order in which fields are listed in the schedule, you can use the up-down arrows at the left edge of each row to move the field up or down. Now let's set up the behavior of the fields in the schedule. Select the Home Story field, and click on the right cell to display the subtotal numbers by stories. For the calculated area and the net volume fields, activate the sum option in the second column. Then click OK. Using the pop-up navigator, open the newly created zone list schedule from the element section of the project map. On the top of the schedule formatting panel, check the show headline checkbox. Double-click on the tab on the left of the schedule between the Names row and the Ground Floor row to fit the column names to its content. Adjust the Zone Name column width by double-clicking the tab between the Zone Name and the Calculated Area columns. Click in the following cells and modify their content. Home Story change to Story. Zone Name change to Zone. Calculated Area change to Area, and Net Volume change to Volume. Now let's make some formatting changes using the Schedule Formatting panel. From the Apply Format Options drop-down list, choose the entire schedule and apply the Arial font. Then select Total and activate the bold font style. Finally, select Grand Total. Set the row heights to 8 mm and the font size to 4 mm and apply the bold font style as well. 